So, this is day one of taking apart this TDI. Mr. G is right there. Say Wagwan! Say what's up. Anyways, <laughs> um, so this is the actual TDI. He's the first owner of this. This is actually a very like mint, clean TDI. It just had like some mishap and uh, some bolts went a little bit too far and actually caused like a huge oil leak. Um, probably went through the actual block itself, but we don't necessarily know because uh, we can't see at the angle that it is. So we ended up just getting a brand new motor, went to all the way to Compton. Uh, a buddy of mine actually picked it up oh, for me and then when we went, went to LA. Well, Compton is LA. Oh, Compton. Yeah, yeah, Compton is LA. So we actually ended up picking up this this motor, this TDI motor, which Vic actually picked it up for me. Uh, he's a buddy of mine in LA. Uh, he just held it pretty much for storage because we were in LA, but I wasn't gonna be able to pick it up to the last day because I didn't want to carry around a TDI motor in the back of the wagon. Uh, one time, you know. So we got, as you can see, we got the front end off in service position. We're gonna be taking off the radiators, the fans, all the lines are disconnected. I know it looks like a mess, but it's just because it's not all to the side. Um, the only thing we need actually is the driver side motor mount. Obviously this is holding it up uh, and the motor should actually come off. But first we're gonna be taking off the, like I said, the radiator, separating it. That way we don't risk any damage and plus the fans and everything like it clears up a lot more space for us so when we get the radiator out we can get this hose out the bottom hose down there and then just like lay it to the side so i'll definitely do a time lapse for you guys so you guys can see but here we go first time ever doing a tdi engine swap uh let's get it going i don't think we're actually gonna be finishing it up but that is the goal of today which is pulling this motor out getting this one mocked in there and transferring some of the uh manual coolant hoses to the uh automatic block so so we got the radiator out as you can see the condensers out it's super easy now to just pull the motor forward. Uh, obviously, we made a little bit of a mess. Yeah, super the, easy because Janet is here. The coolant, you know, from the hoses and the radiator. But yeah, usually, typically, you want to just be careful with, ever the, with the condenser when you're pulling the motor out. So my tip to anybody who does it is you grab this line right here. This is a hard line for the AC. You bend it ever so slightly this way. You don't actually want to like kink right here, but you grab it from this angle and then you just fold it a little bit over which actually makes it everything a little bit easier still bolted on so i'm not going to do that right now but when we do the actual motor process we go right here pull it off a little bit and this condenser can i mean not the condenser compressor can swing out a little bit easier and this motor just comes out like this so progress rise but wise it's probably been like maybe like 40 minutes uh, just because we're like trying to figure out exactly what angle to come at it um that's about it though uh these tds are super small so like and it's a five speed so it's a lot easier uh if it was a six speed obviously it was a little bit harder but you know we're just gonna so we're just gonna clean up the coolant on the floor and then we're gonna get back to it so <laughs> i wouldn't have used this one if i realized it was the one with the plastic too because that's actually pretty cool so he was trying to clean up the coolant but he was actually obviously using the wrong side uh, oh he got me on record <laughs> 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 so now that we cleaned it up a little bit, I'm gonna ask Mr. G. Mr. G, yeah. what are your goals for the car pretty much when we're done with this? When we're done then? Yes, like when we're done with it. So, we wanna get it running right mm -hmm. like it was. Yeah, you know, of course got a, a bigger turbo on there, bigger intercooler, um, little bigger injectors. Mm -hmm. It's got a perfect running, fuel pump going on right here but ultimately so I've over the years I've lowered it you know it's I want to get it a little bit more enjoyable for other people to be in mm -hmm. so like the rear coils are too harsh mm -hmm. so I want to go back to like a little more stock stock feeling a little bit more softer feel. like softer. smoother ride type of thing so I'm gonna go with GLI Springs all the way around. Springs all the way around. Mm -hmm. GLI struts, GLI back things. So more back to stock. Mm -hmm. But GLI, you yeah. know, better so, than TDI. So pretty much just GLI suspension all, all around the car. Uh, just tip top shape. Yeah. TDI engine, of course, because you keep your engine very healthy. Yeah. Um, 
But remember this, I also already have a thicker sway bar. Mm -hmm. got, it's an HR. I think it was H when I bought it, it was HR. H&R, yeah. H&R with polyurethane bushings. Okay. So even though I'm going to a more stockish springs, it'll be running, it'll still have nice handling going on. Okay, okay. Yeah. So let's see. Understandable, understandable. Yeah. And but I got Volkswagen GTI seats, uh -huh. nice leather. Yes. That's going in there. As next, well, also. okay. Um, and what about today? Like, what do you want to just finish oh, up for today, today at least? All I want to do is get the engine out, mm -hmm. get the fuel pump, switch to my next engine over here, mm -hmm. and then take the trend, the gearbox off, and put my my flywheel onto this onto motor. the new engine, mm -hmm. so I can verify top dead center. I'll have the notches, you know. Just want at least that on. Just okay. Today. Okay. So, and get the engine in time. Okay. So time this motor, get the, okay, so pull this motor, get the clutch and flywheel off, um, flop it onto this one, get TDC on this, make sure everything and is correct, verify that it's TDC before we even decide to put it back in. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to get back to work then. There we go. Morning. What? What? Big man takes that time off. No, baby. I'm sorry I hurt you. Why did you put me up? Oh, no swearing. No swearing. No, you can swear. So, obviously, we got the motor up. But well, poor baby. Wasn't too, wasn't too hard. Uh, obviously, a turbo line. And then accidentally the accessory belt got cut on the actual lift, so the motor was just coming in. Uh, but you know, this is why we double check everything. Uh, obviously, we double check everything. But yeah. Do the turbo? Yes. Now we just get this off. Obviously, oh. now, you know, we get this off. Yeah. Clean the engine bay up a little bit. The turbo stays there. Look at that. Which, can we work on this shit right here or no? I wouldn't, put something on here for I wouldn't safety. recommend it, but <laughs> yeah, turbo's there, engine bay, we got to clean up, of course, then we just swap everything over. So now that we got the actual engine, as you can see, right next to each other, we're going to be transferring all over the, all the accessories over, as you can see, from the old motor to the new motor. The transmission, of course, is still on, but we're going to be taking this off right now that we can actually get access to the flywheel and, uh, clutch but as you can see which is brand new yeah we have it on the little workbench custom workbench I'm gonna be working on the bolts right here on the trans I build He's everything myself there. yes he actually does build everything himself he actually builds tools for himself like amateur welding and stuff like that for like his mini yeah, coopers like and stuff so it's pretty interesting was for the mini cooper timing for re which? releasing the Tensioner? Tensioner. Yes, sir. So. Right here. Big Martin! Look at that. Big Martin! Hold on, hold on. Show the camera. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So I got guns to pick up this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, as you saw, he got the clutch, I mean, the transmission off, as you can see. Clutch looks amazing. As you can see, it doesn't even look like it has any type of wear on it. So we're just gonna immediately swap this over to this motor, um, just because it's like the easiest thing to swap over. Um, this is obviously an automatic, came out of an automatic because as you can see, it has this little nipple on the hard line, and this one doesn't. Because this one is used for the, transmission this one cools down the transmission and obviously this one doesn't have a cooler on the transmission or whatever so gotta swap that over pretty much the old filter housing everything mechanically to the this side so wish us luck we ran into a little problem as you can see well you're gonna see right now so this is the manual transmission as you can see look at the holes uh this is the plate 
from this motor onto this one um, the holes clearly do not line up so oil now we yeah switch. now we have to swap over the oil pans uh, just because well the transmission is not obviously going to line up if we use that yeah. so didn't know that now we do so quick little fix nothing too severe so Yeah, it looks like this should be just for that. Yeah, yeah. There's a bolt. There's a bolt on there somewhere. No, it's got to be. It's just all the silicone. You sure? Yeah. That, you sure there's nothing over that side? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Right, there's a bolt there. I know that feeling. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the side of the block where this shit came through. So these bolts went through? Yeah. The bolts on, yeah, on the harmonic balancer. Pump's damaged. I think the... No, it is. This is this whole thing is the oil pump. Like, oh, that whole thing oh, wait, is my, pump? my bad. It's just the, the, the cover, cover. The front cover. Yeah. But... Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, should we take this off right here and look... To see if this one switch right back on there. Very possible. Or because, what do you think? Um, after seeing this, probably not. No, because. So, it is lunchtime for us. Just because we have made amazing progress. So, now we're going to be taking the wagon and we'll get some chipotle. No advertisement. Um, and probably the habit salad. Uh, funny story about this wagon, actually. We bought it for 600 bucks. Uh, in Sacramento, like some some tweaker had it, and it was posted for like two minutes, and then I had it picked it up with him literally the same day. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty it's pretty clean. The headliner is just droopy. That's about it, though. It's a five-speed 1.8T. Uh, I'm gonna be eating a tune for it. He got the uh, OZ Ultra Ligeras on there, uh, and then I have some 18Z Brembos that we might just throw on just for fun. But honestly, probably not. He also has some R32 ones. Um, that we could throw on, but you know, this is also another one that he picked up. This is a TDI that I'm actually going to be purchasing. It's going to be like, you know, lit. He's doing a full, pretty much like black interior swap because it had like nasty tan interior. But as you can see, like, even though like he has his stuff in here, like everything has been turned completely black, like headliner, cousin headliner, black seats, everything. Like when Mr. G gets down on his cars, he gets down on his car. Let me turn this down real quick. Let's see if his car's open. Is your car open? I want to show him real quick. Hasn't been touched in like so long, but yes. look at this. Mint. Mint. Mint-ish. Mint-ish right it now. It needs a cleaning and a detailing. Just so. lunchtime. Then we'll get back to it, right? Yeah. Awesome. For real. So. Big man things. Boom. Big man things. Mm -hmm. Currently right now, we're just making sure that Injectors are, cleaned injectors are cleaned up the seals they have all the copper rings which are these uh, they were missing we, one uh yeah they were actually missing two when we pulled these yeah. out um the glow plugs were pretty shit too so but this is why we always check and verify make sure people. yeah verify other people's work because apparently like i said this was rebuilt two years ago but it doesn't sound it doesn't seem like it was like they missed a couple the things. greatest yeah so that's what we're doing right now so i but i don't think that had anything to do with the rebuild mm -hmm. i think the people who were putting it back together messed that part up because you know the rebuilds is in a machine that or it was also just um not properly taken care of after the right. rebuild so uh, but other than that we're going to put on the new accessory bracket right there polished oh, it by wait. himself yeah sure how clean this is polished by himself cleaned it up Nice. See, that's what the mine that I took care of looks like. This is what theirs look like. All dirty. It's all dirty and used. Yeah, see? We don't like used parts out here. Yeah. <laughs> so now, back to... We were double checking a little bit of the 
plate for the automatic and the manual transmission. Um, what ended up happening was that this plate was on backwards yeah, when we were actually up. test when we were like test fitting, so it wasn't actually lining up properly. After you take a lunch break and then you come back and then you figure something out, like <laughs> damn, you you you're so uh, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> <laughs> after uh after a quick little lunch break you know you come back at something that is like somewhat frustrating then you figure out that you just had it backwards and then you know here we go we're just gonna continue with this one uh goal by the end of the night because i don't even think we're gonna be making it to slapping everything back together but uh flywheel clutch we're gonna for sure put it on i do my goal i do want to get the transmission at least bolted on um but we already got the new accessory bracket in as you can see he's working on the timing. bushings the timing uh we got the new fuel mechanical pump. fuel pump yep that's when you had wd-40 on your hands that's what happens right. uh we got the new thermostat with the old housing in got the injectors tightened up torqued down to spec glow plugs got it all figured out so looking very very good obviously we need the oil filter housing with the coolant lines and we also that's a good thing that we don't get it all the way because that way because we need to order a new oil filter housing gasket yes that is true we do need to order a new gasket um we can run this one but it's just risking leakage and obviously to get to this inside of the car is not so much fun so we're just going to get a, a new one for this uh the coolant line the seal on this one the o-ring was completely like flattened out so we're just going to get a brand new one of that we, as well we, we so we can just uh slap you know, it. yeah slap it in and have like obviously a nice juicy o-ring in it we stripped the old motor completely of all its accessories injectors and stuff well, these are the old ones from this motor that we threw on this one because he had bigger injectors so we swapped them over on this uh, we got timing correct. We, like I said, we put on the accessories, power steering, alternator, timing belt. We did the pump, oil filter housing. We do need just a couple more things. So we're not going to be able to finish up today. We did get the pressure plate clutch and flywheel on. Got the uh, cooling housing. Uh, coolant flange uh what we do need is the hard line o-ring at the end we need that uh the oil filter housing this gasket is okay to use but we don't want to reuse it because then it's going to be a hassle to take it out so we're going to replace that so we're going to order that so it's just one two and then the dipstick uh we broke the history. Wabam. Wabam. That's what ends up happening with old little we pieces. We should have just fucking left it. We should have. But... Need yeah. But realistically, so now what we're going to do is just get this motor out of the way. I'm going to be putting it under the table right there where Mr. G is at. And then pretty much uh, closing this up, probably going to throw on the valve cover and the actual sensor, maybe. No, uh, no valve cover yet. No because we want to keep this at top dead center mm -hmm. but we're gonna put it on a transmission okay yes the gearbox we are gonna okay so yeah we're gonna turn this motor this way that way we can get the actual trans transmission on bolt it on and that way whenever we do come back for part two then we could just drop it in and tidy everything up so anyways what we're gonna be doing now is we're just gonna be grabbing the transmission we're gonna be throwing it onto the block Big man things right there. Big man things. And uh, pick up this bumper ass butt. Yeah, so we're just gonna be, uh, you know, not recommended for anyone who does not squat or go to the gym, because clearly he does. So it's gonna be slapping this on, and then you know I think we can do it on right here. Probably can. But let's try. Yeah, we'll just turn it around and then we'll just see. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let me just set this down. Ready? 
as you can see, we're pretty much just buttoning up everything, small stuff. We got the starter, Ooh. got the starter back on, the alignment for the transmission. You can't really see it, but there's like a little notch, like a little scratch back there. It's lined up a little bit. <sighs> now it's lined up. Anyways, so let's go to this side. Got the running water pump, harmonic balancer put back on. I'm gonna watch a video on this tensioner because we did it by hand. We're just gonna make sure that we did it correct. All our timing is correct on this side. Accessory brackets are all done. That's pretty much it. What this, else do we necessarily have? Was, it was, it's, look. This one doesn't have a washer. Mm -hmm. And this one does. Anyway, so we're just gonna be buttoning up like small little stuff, uh, nothing too crazy anymore. Uh, we could obviously save it for another day. Um, so this is where Need we're gonna, yeah, this is where we're gonna sign off, clean up a little bit, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Any last words, Mister Mister G? Lord have mercy. Uh, anyway, bummer, rough. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> folks. <laughs>